This is the limb of a dead rabbit. I thought you could put it next to your brain in the jar. Place is turning into Party Central. Oh, he needs a disco ball. I take it this is connected to your claim that you began to hurt people when you were still a child. I think so. Where did it come from? A kid gave it to me. A little boy said that I was his best friend. And who was this boy? Well, at the time, I thought he was my brother. I sent him flying down a flight of stairs. Hey. Elizabeth, hey. I heard you were an Ethan surgeon last night. How are you holding up? Um, I've lost patients before. This one's just sending me pretty hard. Of course it is. The two of you had history. Yeah, not a good one. What, what if I could have... What if I could have done something else? What, what, what if I could have done something more to help Nathan and I didn't? All this kid wanted to do was wish me good luck. And I repaid him by shoving him down a flight of stairs. <clears throat> and you thought this boy was your brother? Well, my mother was raising us as if we were brothers. Where were his birth parents? Here. Poor Charles. Yeah, this kid's mother pawned him off on Betsy because she was afraid that Alan Quarterman would figure out that he had another son. So this boy was... Jason's twin, Drew Kane. Currently has no memory. Yeah, I got that going for me. Although I think if he ever does regain his memory, call me crazy in the shrink's office, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to go well. So, what happened to him? I mean, why didn't Betsy continue to raise him? She was afraid I was going to try and hurt him again, so she put him in an orphanage. Yep. Not only did I try and end this kid's life, but I screwed up his whole childhood. You know that for a fact? I look, it's not like the kid sent me postcards, but what kid gets abandoned and then grows up and says, Oh, I had an awesome childhood. Drew was probably way screwed up even before they made him Jason. Maybe this Faison guy did him a favor. What did you feel giving Andrew that push? I don't know. You were ambivalent? No, no, it's not that. I just don't remember. Well, then how do you know what happened? Because my mother told me that it happened. That's hardly proof, Franco. Parents lie all the time. Hey, my, my mother lied a lot, but it was always to protect me. It was never to hurt me. And it took months of me prying it out of her to get her to finally tell me. that That's got to count for something, right? Yes, that she was reluctant. Or she wanted you to think she was. No, I, I, I think she... I, I know she was telling me the truth. I pushed this kid down a flight of stairs. In order to hurt him. Well, why else? No, Griffin, don't do this. You are a great doctor, one of our best. There, there's, there was just so much animosity between Nathan and me. And you would never let that get in the way of saving someone. Unfortunately, Nathan just couldn't be saved. The only person responsible for Nathan dying, the only person is Cesar Faison. You said you can't recall the stair incident, that you have feelings surrounding it. Nothing. What hostility did you feel any for Andrew? Is there any reason that you would want him to experience uh, ill will? I wasn't even in kindergarten yet. So that's a no? Yes. Yes, that is a no. Okay, so what about after? Did you miss him once he was gone? That I do remember. I asked about him so often that my mother thought it would be in my own best interest to convince me that he didn't even exist, that he was just a figment of my imagination. Mm -hmm. It's her acting you. She didn't want me to know that I'd hurt him. If you'd hurt him. Well, he didn't fall down a flight of stairs by himself. Okay. You're convinced that you pushed him down the stairs. But that leaves the big question. Why? <laughs> 